Ready? I am a theater artist based in Kingston, Ontario. I work with Spiderweb Show, which is a national digital theater company based out of the Isabel, and I also used to run the Kingston Storefront Fringe Festival. As a 25-year-old woman in today's society, I often faced being young down. I think about this all the time. I'm often called cute. I'm often referred to as little and sweet, which are things that I feel are associated with my personality. But in a professional sense, it really ages me down, cuts opportunities from me. Uh, I think it's a way of patronizing young adult women that we do even, even into adulthood, past our childhood, something I've experienced since I was really little. And I really think that uh, you know being assumed to be young and cute and sweet and girly takes away some of my agency and control over my own body. It doesn't matter if you see that as a young body or an older body. I think it's just a way that we categorize women to make them behave in the certain ways that we want them to. So in my professional life, people have considered me girly often. I don't know if other people can speak to this as well, but in the professional setting, in an office room, I'm often, you know, I come in with like a backpack. Someone once told me that I should get rid of my backpack when I decided that I wanted to work as a professional woman. Instead, I should get one of those like fancy leather bags, which is totally not my vibe because I walk very quickly and I want a backpack. I think that our, our work to categorize women as older women, middle-aged women, young women, it's a way of clocking our accomplishments in, in a way that limits us, I think. Being a small woman means that I think people think they can control me a lot. So I think that the perception immediately of me being cute, small, reduces me, younger, more fragile, more vulnerable, needs your help, needs things from you in a way that, you know, it doesn't get beyond like my own capabilities, my own intellect, my own network. It's kind of just immediately reduced as being cute and young, um, which is not helpful. I think the way that I have to choose to fight against this is do the extra work that women have to do all the time to prove themselves. You know, for example, I've worked in, in organizations where I feel, you know, I, have, I do a certain amount of work and then a, a, a male colleague does the same amount of work and it's like, oh my God, the earth has shaken. What a great achievement. Uh, so I think that for me, the way that I fight about it is continually like double proving myself to make my case. I think people call me cute and sweet and small because it's a way to maintain power over me as a young woman and that's dangerous uh, territory when it comes to my sexuality because unless I feel cool about uh, confronting power, I don't really wanna feel weak. When I was little, because I was a really small kid, I was often being like picked up and cuddled and held really tightly and that's sweet, you know, like I love affection, but when I think about the difference between being a girl and being a woman, being a woman allows you to have control over when that feels appealing to you or not. Sometimes I find that partners can strip some of my power by referring to me as cute. Like there's a big difference in bed if someone talks about you and they're like, you're so cute versus you're so sexy. Like I, I you know, however you wanna use words to describe yourself, it's your prerogative, but it's really about power. And when you tell me I'm cute, I feel like I am weak and that's not, sexy for me. I would tell other young women who feel like they don't want to be called cute if they're called cute to say something. You know, like often if someone in a public setting or someone in work will call me cute, I will say like, please don't call me that. And I know that takes a lot of courage and vulnerability and bravery and that's really hard, but nobody's going to learn until we start pointing it out. The other thing I would tell young people is don't feel like you don't have to be cute. Don't feel like you have to change your persona, ditch your backpack, start wearing blazers and heels because you wanna not be called cute anymore. You can still dress and behave how you want to. You can just con t start alluding to other people how they should be treating you. You're like the maker of your own destiny. You know, Like if you say you wanna be called something, you might have to say it 50 or 100 times, but eventually people will listen and you don't have to ditch who you are. You don't have to change who you are to do that, I think.